Well, hey everybody, how's it going? My name's James, here to lay with your daily GTA 5 tips, news, info, and more. And today we're going to be talking about how to get the 747 Jumbo Jet in GTA Online in free mode, not in a mission like previous versions. This is after the latest patch 1.09 and does involve you using the single player to multiplayer glitch. And without further delay, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Real quickly before we start, today is the last day to get that Astray 50 headset, last day of the giveaway. Make sure to check out the info down in the description below, I'll be giving it away later today. So make sure to check it out, follow me on Twitter and retweet that tweet. Like I mentioned, all the stuff is in the description down below. Now we're going to have to do the single player to multiplayer glitch in order to get this 747 Jumbo Jet online. The first thing you're going to have to do is head over to online and head to the airport. Once you're in front of the airport, head over to options, settings, and make sure your spawn location is set to last location. After that, leave GTA Online and head back into single player. Once you're back in single player, start up an invite only GTA Online session. Now the next step is the hardest, so please bear with me, it's not actually that hard, it's a lot of explaining to do though. You're going to want to open up the game store, and right as you're transitioning into the game store, right as it's all blurred and going up in the air, you're going to want to sign out of your PSN or Xbox Live ID. Now this is a little bit different later on for Xbox and PS3 people, I'll explain the difference, but after you signed out, it should bring you back after a while of loading into the original North Yankton mission. Now this next step is for Xbox people only. You're going to have to sign back into Xbox, but not Xbox Live. You can do that by disconnecting your Ethernet cable or turning off your router if you're using an Xbox Slim. If you're using an Xbox Original, you can disconnect the uh, Wi-Fi adapter from the back, but either way, you're going to have to sign in offline. Once you've signed in, head over to game and load up any game. Once you end the game, simply drive Michael over to the airport and hop in a 747 Jumbo Jet. You're going to have to drive all the way to the side of the airport where you were in GTA Online and park the Jumbo Jet as I am right now. It takes a little bit of work, but you can maneuver it backwards and eventually park it facing the way I am. Now the next step is going to be a little bit different again for PS3 and Xbox. Open up your online and head over to GTA Online. If you're on Xbox, you have to put your router or Ethernet cable back in and connect back to live. Or if you're on PS3, simply sign back in and then start up an invite only GTA Online session. Now sometimes it may ask you to download an update, simply head over, download the capture update and continue to online, or it may seamlessly put you in online, and now the jumbo jet will be sitting there. You have to act quick, quickly grab a car, drive through the fence, and get in the jumbo jet, and it's now yours to have in GTA Online. You are on your own invite-only session, so you can invite your friends, have some fun, and now enjoy the companionship of a 747 jumbo jet in GTA Online. Now if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to support it by leaving a like, it definitely helps me out and supports my channel. Also if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe on the road to 300,000 subscribers. Last but not least, make sure to follow my Twitter, like my Facebook, take advantage of that giveaway. It does end today. That's about it, and have a great day. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.